bringing you another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Chris Paul, first personal foul. First and Chris Paul foul. picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Greg, you were talking about this. What you appreciate about this matchup, the team first mindset on both sides. Very unselfish. And we're going to see guys moving the ball. And Kevin, they play for one another. That's why these clubs rack up so many assists. Back to Booker. Outside Durant. From deep. Lakers with the rebound. Here's Reeves. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Back to Davis. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shot clock at six. Here's James. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Now, Greg, a disappointing end into the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Sun. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game seven. So this season might be revenge time for this group. KD with the bucket. Few create shots as easily as Paul does for his teammates. He is just a great setup guy. Now here's Davis. Pass to Hachimura. Trying to get open is Davis. And that one's good. Hachimura. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's KD. Now Ross. Launches a three. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. The Lakers with a quick start to this game. Here's LeBron. Here's Reeves. His three pointers off the mark. And it's the Suns' ball. They trail by three. No good from Ross. Now here's James. Loads it up for Davis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Aiton with it. He's picked up by Russell. Outside, KD. From downtown, Hachimura grabs the miss. Los Angeles leading by three. Here's Davis. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the versatility AD offers is what makes him such a valuable player. Offensively, he's a real handful given the array of moves and shots he has in his bag. But he's also outstanding defensively too, able to guard multiple positions. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder though if the team is going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Now here's James. Left side, Davis. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. And Davis throws it down. Anthony Davis. This is what Davis does, people. He has a wide variety of ways to score. Very few bigs can handle like that. And here's KD for three. There's the triple. Well shot off that time. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers, but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. LeBron's shot is good. James has got five now. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a four. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. 
And looking back to Devin Booker in that 2015 draft, this guy went 13th overall. What a steal. Plus, Book was the fourth guy taken from his own college. I think that put a giant chip on his shoulder. Fueled Devin to the all-star he is today. Now, here's LeBron. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. A nice shot by LeBron. Seven points in the game. Like at this point in time, like you have to understand that if LeBron James is on the inside, he has so many ways to beat you. A little contact's not going to do it. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. So it's the Lakers now after the Suns pick up two. Out to Russell. A three-pointer, no good. Suns trail by six. Ball outside. Pass to Durant. And stolen by LeBron. Now here is Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Assistant. What do you want? Agility, he's got it. Height, he's got it. Davis has every advantage on this play. Defenses just can't effectively counter it. Here's Ayton. And so it's Los Angeles. Holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Defensively. 16. And please give a big round of applause for your son. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. Pass to KD. Booker outside. Out to KD. No one near him. Jump shot is good that time. KD's got nine. Hard to stop Durant when he's set up like this. He's so well positioned to score. Easily outside. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent. But some guys are well past their prime. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one. -on -one dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Great advice. David, thanks. Los Angeles leading by nine. And what do you think, G.A., is the next step for this Lakers team? Yeah, coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. A drive by Booker. And Booker throws it down! There is no on-off switch for Booker. He is always in attack mode. Pass to Beasley. And here's Walker. Just five on the clock. Now, here's Bamba. And the foul called on Terrence Ross. Second. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Walker. Phoenix grabs the miss. One on one here. And Aiton throws it down. <laughs> the elevated playmaking of Durant. Passes like that really bring the team closer together. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And there's the call on Durant. That's his first foul. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. 
So what's the difference? Uh, well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Ma Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. Connects from three-point range. This is why you always have to chase guys off the arc because everyone has a three-point shot now. To the inside. Here's Booker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First person it goes on Muhammad Bamba. You have no fear from this young man. Booker will take any shot. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot, but... I'd go with the Lakers, more superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. And here's KD for three. That shot missing. And he continues to cast away, but the results just haven't been there tonight. Outside, Walker. To the middle. Stolen by Durant. And there's the call on DeAndre Ayton. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Lakers leading by eight. To the right side. Bomba wide open and he fires. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Inside. Stolen away. Here's Beasley, and it's Beasley finishing it off. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Down low. Here's Pamba, and no good. Trying to use the glass. For three, Ross. And again, it's the Suns missing. And Beasley has the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. To the paint. And the jump by Bamba. Assisted yeah, And how about the nine foot six standing reach Bamba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Schroeder with the ball. Chris Paul covering. A jam by Bamba. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Picked him clean. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Bad right after this. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Just maybe the best scoring forward of all time, and by maybe, I mean he is. Yet again, it's Durant with a big night. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. For his position, DeAndre Ayton is exceptionally well-equipped. Yeah, are you talking about those long arms, that seven-foot-six wingspan? Yeah, those will help you knock away a few shots or pluck down a few rebounds out of the air. That is no question. Whistle blows, but that's going to be a travel. Suns trail by 11. But tried by Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And once Booker has some momentum, get out of his way, throwing himself towards the rim off the drive. And the rejection by Eaton. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Oldham. David. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. 
<laughs> well, he's got a point, David. And we thank you for your report. Back to Paul. On the wing, Booker takes the three. And Davis pulls it down. Lakers lead by nine. Pass to Hachimura. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. On the wing, Booker. Knocked away. And sometimes on defense, you could just get lucky. Davis with it. Phoenix with the rebound. With three, Booker. It doesn't go for him. And it's the Lakers the other way. We've seen the Suns get back to being one of the league's elite passing teams, RJ. That was the trademark of the Steve Nash era. And look, they've returned to a brand of team first basketball. It's allowed them to join the ranks of some of the top teams in this league. For Los Angeles, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. Paul outside. On the wing, Booker. To stop the run. Knocks down the three ball. Booker's got five points in the quarter. Shoots the lights out. Booker has limitless range. The drive by LeBron. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Pass to Booker. Shoots the three. And it's Russell with the rebound. Lakers leading by 14. James with it. Now guarded by eight. Here's Reeves. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Pass to Aiton. And here's Booker. From the arc. Paul for three. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Out to the right wing. There's the three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Here's James, and the dunk by James. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. And it's sent back by PD. We've seen Durant really improve as a defender, using his impressive length to block shots. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. To the wing right side. And a wide open look for Hachimura. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. And that one, good. And, and padding that field goal percentage. Just hard to stop Aiden when he gets the ball that deep. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Uh, haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Free throw good, LeBron. And when you think of LeBron, his competitive spirit is, to me, the first thing that comes to mind. All this guy wants to do is win all the time. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Yeah. 
for three. Durant. Capable of guarding in the position. LeBron is also skilled at so testing shot. And the Lakers, 55. Ladies and gentlemen. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have, and I <laughs> never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. Awesome. I love my job right now, and you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's mutual. Booker, left side. From outside the arc. Can't hit that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Up top, Hachimura. Pass to Davis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 11 points for Anthony Davis. I'm going to be honest. Like, Anthony Davis could do this all night. Inside the paint, his frame just gives him too much of an advantage. Back to KD. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And it's the Lakers ball. Here's Hachimura. They get it back. Pass to Reeves. Out to Russell. Six on the shot clock. From outside, off the mark. Durant at the elbow. And here's Booker from the arc. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Instantaneous offense. Booker gets the hot pass and quickly has that shot in the air. There's Russell with a three. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Third ball. Lakers substitution. And here are the Suns now. Durant way outside. That shot is off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Bounce pass, Davis. Pass to Bamba. Left side, Davis. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Reeves with one on the clock. With the clock winding down. And it's slammed in by Davis. Well, look, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the glass. And he just turns rebounds into points so easily. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. First personal foul. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Substitution. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Malik Beasley. Here's Reeves. Lock at six. And a wide open look for Walker. No good with the triple. And so Aiton will bring it up for Phoenix. Durant for three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Pass to Bamba. Outside, Walker. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And stolen by Booker for the three. And it's Kevin Durant with the three. Making it look effortless. Durant is sensational at pulling up on a dime. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. And they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LeBron. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors.
in the end result. And stolen by Booker. And now the fast break. Ross with the ball from deep three-point range. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. First personal foul. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. At the line for Phoenix. And he sinks the second. At the line for three. And he nails the third. And talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. Suns foul. And there is the call on DeAndre. Third personal That's foul. his third foul of the game. Second team foul. Here are the Lakers. They have a 19-point lead. Here's James. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second personal foul. Now, nobody spends more time in the paint than LeBron James. He knows he's going to get the contact, and he still goes in there. Two shots. And both free throws good for LeBron. And here are the Suns now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Paul for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. About three seconds between shot and game clock. James outside. A fadeaway. And it's in there. LeBron James. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. The three from KD. Drills it from outside. The range KD possesses makes him a constant threat outside. The defense has to be all over him. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel better. <laughs>